Welcome back to Financial Works, where we help you make your money work for you. In today's video, we're going to talk about one of the most popular and simple ways to budget your income, the 50 30 20th rule. This rule was created by U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren and her daughter Amelia Warren Tayagi in their book All Your Worth, The Ultimate Lifetime Money Plan 1. It's a rule of thumb that tells you how to divide your after-tax income into three categories, needs, wants, and savings. Sounds easy, right? Well, let's dive into the details and see how it works. The first category is needs. These are the things that you absolutely must pay for every month, such as rent or mortgage, utilities, groceries, insurance, transportation, and minimum debt payments. According to the 50-30-20th rule, you should spend no more than 50% of your income on these essentials. If you spend more than that, you might have to cut down on your wants or find ways to reduce your living expenses. The second category is wants. These are the things that you don't need, but make your life more enjoyable and fun. For example, eating out, shopping, entertainment, hobbies, travel, and so on. The 50-30-20th rule says that you can spend up to 30% of your income on these discretionary items. This is where you can splurge a little and treat yourself, as long as you don't go overboard and neglect your other financial goals. The third category is savings. This is where you put aside money for your future, such as retirement, emergency fund, debt repayment above the minimums, and other investments. The 50-30-20th rule recommends that you save at least 20% of your income for this category. This is the most important part of the rule, because it helps you build wealth and achieve financial freedom. So, how do you apply the 50-30-20th rule to your own budget? Well, first you need to know your after-tax income. This is the amount of money that you actually take home after deducting taxes and other deductions from your paycheck. You can use a tax calculator online to estimate this number too. Then, you need to track your spending and categorize it into needs, wants, and savings. You can use a budgeting app or spreadsheet to do this three. Finally, you need to compare your spending with the 50-30-20ths rule and see if you need to make any adjustments. For example, let's say that your after-tax income is $4,000 per month. According to the 50-30-20ths rule, you should spend no more than $2,000 on needs, no more than $1,200 on wants, and at least $800 on savings. If your current spending is $2,500 on needs, $800 on wants, and $700 on savings, then you are overspending on needs and undersaving for your future. You might want to look for ways to lower your rent or mortgage payment, switch to a cheaper car or insurance plan, or negotiate a lower interest rate on your debt. You might also want to increase your income by getting a raise or a side hustle. The 50-30-20ths rule is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's a guideline that can help you create a reasonable and realistic budget that suits your lifestyle and goals. You might need to tweak the percentages based on your personal circumstances and preferences. For example, if you live in a high-cost area or have a large family, you might need to spend more than 50% on needs. If you have a lot of debt or want to retire early, you might want to save more than 20%. The key is to find a balance that works for you and stick to it. The benefits of using the 50-30-20ths rule are that it's simple, flexible, and easy to follow. It helps you prioritize your spending and saving without being too restrictive or complicated. It also helps you achieve financial stability and security by covering your needs, enjoying your wants, and investing in your future. The drawbacks of using the 50-30-20ths rule are that it might not be suitable for everyone's situation or goals. It might be too vague or unrealistic for some people who have different income levels or expenses. It might also be too lenient or generous for some people who want to save more aggressively or cut down on unnecessary spending. Ultimately, the 50-30-20ths rule is a tool that can help you budget better and smarter. It's not a magic formula that will solve all your financial problems overnight. It's up to you to use it wisely and adapt it to your own needs and wants. Remember, the goal of budgeting is not to deprive yourself of happiness, but to align your money with your values and dreams. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you learned something new and useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more financial tips and tricks. 
Also, let us know in the comments below what you think of the 50 30 20th rule and how you budget your income. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Financial Works.